So you're thinking about moving to Bend or somewhere else in Central Oregon, but you're curious about the politics and maybe the whole greater Idaho movement that you've been hearing about here and there. Well, that's exactly what we're going to be addressing today. We're going to talk about this whole concept of the greater Idaho movement and how it affects you in Central Oregon and where you might wind up living if you do choose to live here. And that'll all be based off the information we're about to present to you. So, if this whole thing and the whole idea sounds interesting to you, stick around because we're going to be getting after this video right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing, or living, the politics, the good, the bad, and the ugly of living in Bend or Central Oregon, then go ahead and tap that subscribe button below. Hit that bell for notifications and we'll make sure to keep you up to date on all the current happenings in Bend, Oregon. My name is Josh Grossman. I'm the leader of the Lifestyle and Bend team at EXP Realty. And we get calls, texts, emails, and Zoom requests every day from people like you, 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 and you looking to make their move to Bend, Oregon. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in 9 days or 900 days, we don't care. Go ahead and pick up that phone, give us a phone call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, or even sign up for a free Zoom consultation. And we'll go to work on making your move to Central Oregon or Bend as smooth as humanly possible. So as I mentioned before, let's jump in to this overview of what's known as the Greater Idaho Movement. So let me adjust the screen and we'll share some of the information that we have and we'll get right into it. Here you can see that Idaho passes a non-binding measure called the Formal Greater Idaho Talks. What is this whole Greater Idaho Talk thing in the first place? Well, if you've never heard of it before, it's basically where the state of Idaho will absorb the majority of Eastern Oregon. As you can see, this is the proposed border here. So why is this happening? Well, like many other states, Oregon is very politically divided. You can see here not only physically divided based on the mountain range that is the Cascade Mountains that go right here and separates the west side from the east side, the central Oregon and east side of the state, but you can also see the majority of the population. This is where it's going to be. This is the primary area that Oregon's population resides. We have 4 million people in the state, and I would speculate within this circle I just drew, there's about 3 million of them, maybe 3.5 million of those people. So the vast majority of the people live in this circle I just proposed. There's a mountain range that goes right down and it's called the Cascade Mountain Range. We have multiple 10,000 foot peaks, but the barrier to the base level is about 5,500 to 6,000 feet, which goes right down from the top to the bottom of the state. That separates the valley area here, rainy, gloomy, more left leaning from the desert, the high desert climate here, Bend and Redmond. They fall right into the middle of this whole polarizing debate. And I'm gonna show you why. Maybe you've already looked ahead at the map and seen why but this is very interesting. So the proposal is that the state of Idaho, a right-leaning red state, would absorb the majority of all of Eastern Oregon, but with the majority of Central Oregon as well, as you can see with this proposed border. So it comes all the way down, it takes up all the small towns in Eastern Oregon, Pendleton, Hermiston, Legrand, and it comes up and basically starts going to the south right when you get to just before the Dalles. Okay, the Dalles is on the Columbia River, as is Hood River. They would stay with the state of Oregon, but then the border comes down, absorbs Madras, which is in Jefferson County to the north. But interestingly, Idaho would take Redmond and Prineville and leave Bend. Okay, then circle back, take Lapine with it, and then continue to track down south, taking Klamath Falls with it along the way. So that's why we're bringing this to the channel today. It's kind of funny. I don't think it's going to happen anytime in my lifetime or yours. What I've been told is the other states absorbing another part of another state is more of a possibility than what we've had with California for so long. Where you may know this, if you drive into California from Oregon, you go through Redding, you go through Weed, you go through Siskiyou County, you see all of these signs up here and we say that we're our own independent state, the state of Jefferson because the people that live in extreme Northern California, why should they be paying taxes for people down in San Diego and Los Angeles? So it's kind of makes sense, but for them to branch off and become their own completely independent state will probably never happen. This on the other hand is a little different. This is an adjustment of a current state, the state of Idaho absorbing more of the state of Oregon. If we look on the map here, 
This is the Oregon Badlands. Basically, this is just wilderness. You can see here, it's a Wild West type area. It's nothing like the climate of the Willamette Valley or near the Oregon coast. This is all Badland desert terrain here. Not a lot of people live out here. Burns maybe has 2,000 people in it. Baker City maybe has five to 10,000 people. All of these towns here probably total maybe 80,000 people in this entire circle. So the highest body of population in all of Eastern Oregon. Down here, there's next to nothing. Nobody lives here, so the state of Idaho would absorb this. But what's really interesting is that we promote Central Oregon real estate on this channel. If this were to ever happen, it'd be pretty entertaining, right? The state line would go right through Central Oregon. Again, we talked about Leave Bend in or out of Oregon. Redmond goes with Idaho. What do you think about this? Does this actually play a role in your decision as to whether you're going to move to Central Oregon? Are you gonna do more due diligence on where you might live, Oregon or Idaho? Do you want to be in a left-leaning state or a right-leaning state? Which one is it? I'm very curious to know. But the reality is if you go to Greater Idaho in a Google search bar and just type in the news, you'll see that it does not have very big legs. It's starting to grow with a little bit of momentum. I think we're more of a polarizing on political topics than anything else. Maybe during an election period or something else that should happen that divides us from one side to the other, it will create more and more momentum. But the reality is just based off the article alone, the Idaho House passes a non-binding measure calling for the former Greater Idaho talks again. I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's kind of an interesting talking point. I like talking about it with my buddies while we're all sitting around hanging out, but I really don't th see it happening anytime soon. Interesting though, and it also affects Central Oregon directly because it splits Central Oregon right in half. What do you think about that? Are you leaning towards Redmond or Ben based off this information? Or does it not even matter to you at all? I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in a comment below. And if you're curious to learn more about living in Central Oregon, we would love to help you start exploring the area. And we will help you find the best fit for you. Theron and I love what we do. My partner Theron and I, we get calls, texts, emails, Zoom requests all the time. And we're trying to provide as much context, entertainment, information about Ben, Central Oregon as we possibly can. So when you're doing your research and your due diligence about this area, before you make that big move from wherever you're at to Central Oregon. So if you need to reach out to us, please do. It starts with you guys calling us. You can set up a Zoom, you can send us an email, you can give us a phone call. We would absolutely love to figure out where you best fit in Central Oregon. But once again, it all starts with you guys reaching out. We love the fact that you're watching these videos and we love that you support our channel. Please let us know what you think. We absolutely love hearing from you and it helps us make our new topics. Do you like today's video? Is it a little different than what we've done before in the past? But I think it's entertaining and it just affects directly because of drawing a line in the sand. Which side are you on? I mean, according to some, these greater Idaho talk people, well, where are you at? So anyways, I'm so glad you watched this video. Please let me know what you think. Please like it, please subscribe to the channel. We're so grateful again. And like I said, your support is paramount to us being able to do what we do. And if you don't see what you like, leave a comment below and tell us what you wanna hear. We absolutely hope we see you around town soon. And until then, we'll talk to you soon.